So starting from a new project, let's say I wanted to record eight audio tracks for guitar, right? A new project, mine always starts on drum one. I don't have it loaded for uh, the default kit. I don't like the trap kit. Let's say, all right, I want to create eight audio tracks. What I do is I go new track. Okay, it brings up the screen here. Then if I go to advanced, I can change this to audio. I put it on auto. Basically auto, you'll hear the monitor until it's done recording. So you had an eight bar loop. Once it stops recording, you won't hear the input anymore. So I put it on auto and the number of tracks, eight, just like that. Do it. Took a second there. Now, what I'll do then is I'll go back to drum one and delete that track. Now, if I go to my channel mixer, I've got eight tracks lined up right there. And I don't need to go back to the main screen. I can just record on whatever one I click on. If I click on this one, do do do, boom. So there you go. Thank you, Qtastic. You're the man. Thank you. So all the subscribers, I think I'm at uh, 1147, boom. Keep an eye out for my live stream. I just had to reconfigure my whole studio to fit this beauteous motif, 88 key, motif ES. I'm gonna be hooking up MIDI galore. I'm not trying to buy plugins, Akai. I'm trying to route MIDI and record actual instruments. So fix the A, B, C, D button for the pad mixer and the channel mixer. Please, thank you for your attention to this matter. That is all.